Okay, what mass of hydrogen is produced when 192 grams of magnesium is reacted with hydrochloric acid? So there's magnesium and there's hydrogen here. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So starting off with the mass of uh, magnesium and we're going to go to moles. So we've got 192 grams. So 192 divided by 24 is 8. So we've got 8 moles of magnesium. Next part, what's the ratio? Well, it's a 1 to 1 ratio. That means we've got 8 moles of hydrogen. Okay, and then back down to mass. Now, hydrogen is H2. So 2 times by 1 is equal to 2. Okay, so that means... One mole would be two grams, but we've got eight. So eight times by two is 16. Therefore, the mass is going to be 16 grams. What mass of oxygen is needed to react with 8.5 grams of hydrogen sulfide? Okay, so starting off with mass. And again, we're going to go to moles. So our mass, we've got 8.5 grams. Now sulfur is 32. And hydrogen, well we've got 2 times by 1. So the total molar mass of hydrogen sulfide is 34. So how many moles do we have? Well, 8.5 divided by 34. We find we've got... 0 0.25 moles then let's have a look at the ratio well it's 2 to 3 okay so 0 0.25 okay we're going to divide by 2 and times by 3 and we get 0 0.375 moles then finally, we want to go to mass. So oxygen, O2, is 16 times by 2. And we've got 0 0.375. So that's 32 there. So 0 0.375 times by 32 is going to be our mass. So let's times that by 32. And we get an answer of... 12. So, we've got 12 grams of oxygen. What mass of hydrogen is needed to react with 32 grams of copper oxide? Okay, well, firstly, let's have a look at the ratio. It's 1 to 1. Okay, so we're starting off with mass. So the mass of the copper is 32 grams. And we need to find out, well, how many moles is that? Now, copper... Uh, is 63.5, so 63.5 plus 16, this is going to give us the molar mass of copper oxide, and we get 79.5. So 32 divided by 79.5, this is going to tell us how many moles we have got. And we have got, uh, basically, roughly 0 0.4 moles. Now the ratio, this is nice, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So we know we've got 0 0.4 moles of hydrogen. Now hydrogen, H2, it's uh, 1 times by 2, which is 2. So finally 0 0.4 times by 2, we're going to have 0 0.8 grams of hydrogen. Okay, what mass of oxygen is formed when 735 grams of potassium chlorate decomposes? So again, starting off with mass, and we're going to go to moles. So potassium, let's just work out uh, potassium chlorate, the uh, molar mass. So potassium is 39, plus chlorine, which is 35.5, and then we've got oxygen, but we've got three of them, so we've got 3 times 16. 
uh, we get 122.5. So, going from mass to molar mass, we've got 735 divided by 122.5. So, 735 divided by 122.5, and we get an answer of 6. So we've got 6 moles here. Now our ratio is 2 to 3. Okay, so we're going across here. It's a 2 to 3 ratio. So we're going to do 6, okay, times by 3 divided by 2. So 6 times by 3 divided by 2 we get 9 moles then going back down this way we want to know what the mass of oxygen is again oxygen O2 so 2 times 16 is 32 so our final answer is 9 times by 32 which gives us uh, 288 grams. How much calcium oxide is produced by heating 50 grams of calcium carbonate? So calcium oxide here, there's calcium carbonate, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So we'll start off with mass, and we're going to moles. Our calcium is 40 plus 12, which is carbon, plus 3 times 16. So we find that the, the molar mass of calcium carbonate is equal to 100. So mass to moles, we're going to do 50 divided by 100. So we're going to get a half. Now the ratio is nice, it's a 1 to 1 ratio. So we've got half a mole over here. And going back down, we want to know how much calcium oxide is going to be produced. So calcium oxide is CaO. That's 40 plus 1 oxygen, 16, is 56. So 56 times by a half, we're going to get... At 28 grams. Okay, last one. What mass of carbon dioxide is produced is produced when 5.6 grams of butene uh, C4H8 is burnt? So here's our chemical reaction down here, and notice we've got a 1 to 4 ratio. So let's start off as always with mass going up to moles. So, butene, it's uh, 4 times by 12 plus uh, hydrogen, which is 1 times by 8. So the molar mass is uh, 56. So we've got 5.6 divided by 56. Well, that is 0 0.1. So we've got 0 0.1 moles on this side. Moving over, our ratio is 1 to 4. So we're going to do 0 0.1 times by 4 divided by 1. And we get 0 0.4 moles on this side. Okay, then finally, we're talking about carbon dioxide. Well, carbon dioxide, we've got carbon. So we've got 1 times by 12. And then oxygen... Well, we've got 2, 2 times by 16, so that makes 32 plus 12, which is 44. So finally, 0 0.4 times by 44, and this is going to give us our final mass, 44 times by 0.4, we get 17.6 grams.